It's time to sell my 911 Turbo. How do rich people sell their fancy sports cars? I wanna make the most amount of money for the least amount of effort. What would a rich person do? Some of you guys have told me that I'm gonna regret selling this thing and maybe you're right. My friend Melvin told me the car is the mistress. Think about that for a minute. So what do you think? Is owning the car what you aspire to? Is keeping it in the garage forever, is that the goal? Or is having new experiences with new cars the goal? Because frankly, selling this thing is gonna free up a lot of funds to make for interesting content for this channel. Oh man, final drive in the turbo. It makes me sad, but I've decided to sell, I've got my reasons. And now the question becomes how to sell it. There are a lot of options out there. I gotta say, like listing the car on Facebook Marketplace just makes me cringe. You've got scammers, you've got tire kickers, you've got the little laughing emoji that people use on your for sale ad. Facebook is out. So then you might say, well, what about bring a trailer? And I love bring a trailer. I bought my aerial Adam on bring a trailer. And in a lot of cases, cars bring absolutely top dollar there. But there are some downsides. First of all, it can take months before your listing goes live. And that's even assuming that they choose to accept it. I've heard that they do pressure you to keep your reserve price pretty low and there's no guarantee that your car is gonna bring top dollar. And I don't like the idea of the car sitting in the garage for months and months and months waiting for the auction to go live and then it doesn't even sell. Well, if you want like convenience, the easiest thing to do is just take it to a dealer and sell it to them. But when it comes to higher end collectible stuff, I don't think that the dealer is the right place to go because they're in the business of giving you the least money that they can so that they can maximize their profit so I think that leaves us with one option. And luckily I have a friend named Chris who runs a consignment business. So we're driving to Atlanta to meet him and find out about it. Hey Chris. Hey guys. My name's Chris. I own C3, which is a concierge service for European exotic cars. We help people sell their cars on commission and then handle the process from beginning to end. We'll handle all the marketing, all of the showings, the negotiations, leaving nothing to do for the owner except receive the funds. First, we always have to have a meeting to talk about the car. I need to know the car just as intimately as the owner does. I'm going to want to know the history. I'm going to want to know everything about this car that makes it unique. Uh, this car, for example, a very limited production car, the 2009s being the most sought after of it, a factory aero car on top of it. My whole approach has always been very data driven. I look at these markets every day. I understand these markets and I back it up with research. And that was big because I think like pricing is the hardest part about selling a car. Especially with the emotional attachment most people have to their cars. To them, they're the most valuable thing in the world. But you have to look at it from a buyer's perspective. Everything is potentially for sale at the right price. And all of us feel like we have this like super special unicorn. In my case, I actually do have a super special unicorn. And that was something that made me feel really good about the process with Chris was getting a realistic idea of what we can get for the car and saying, hey, at, at that price point, I think I'm willing to sell. All right, so now we start uh, the reconditioning process. We'll look at things like rock chips. We'll look at getting the service done. We really wanna put the buyer at ease knowing that they have a car that they can arrive and drive. Uh, at this point, I need to sign the agreement with Chris and then hand over the keys and, and that'll be that. You're gonna take care of my baby, right Absolutely, Chris? as if it were our own.
the turbo with Chris. So that might have been my very last drive in it. And honestly, it does make me sad. But moving forward, onward and upward, I think Chris is the right guy to sell it. I've been thinking about selling the turbo for a year and a half. And I haven't done it because I just haven't had time. And I don't feel like I've got the expertise to really price it properly, prepare it, photograph it, all that stuff. Chris is gonna take care of everything. I know he's gonna get me top dollar for the car. It's what I should have done in the first place. So definite lesson learned. I wanna hear your stories about selling cars, horror stories preferably, leave them down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for coming along for the ride. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. We'll see you next time. Do you have anything you want to say or no? No. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs>